Hello. This tip is actually a computer programming tip, v VBA, Visual Basic for Applications, so it may not be of interest to everyone. Uh, but for those of you who do a little programming, I was just thinking about this the other day because I was working with another programmer who had to pull data out of fields. And we kept putting, oh, it, uh, the field number in, like it's the first field, it's the third field, it's the fifth field in the table that we wanted, or the list box, whatever, that we wanted to get the data out of. And I was thinking about how I use what's called an enumeration for things like that so that I don't have to keep going back and seeing what number they are. So I just wanted to quickly show, well, what is an enumeration and how do you set it up? So this is my Visual Basic editor for Word and I'm uh, in some in a template with a bunch of programming in it. And I'm going to show you first, I make a procedure or a module, sorry, that I name auto exec. And this is just sort of where I dump um, code that's, I want to have load as Word starts up. And I want to kind of think of this as my general, you know, area for the main code that I might be accessing from a lot of places. That's not a very good explanation. But anyhow, I have a module named auto exec. And in here is where I would declare all my public variables um, and these enumerations of which I speak. So you can see I've got some public uh, constants and different things declared. But these are enumerations. And so what is an enumeration? Let's look at the one for tables right here. So to set one of these up, you're at the top. You're not in a procedure or a subroutine or a function. You're up at the top above anything like that. And you basically, you just say public enum space and then give it the name you want to have. Then you list all the numbers. So in this case, I'm setting this up to pull tables out of a document. So I have a document. I usually use a database for things like this, but I have something I'm setting up for a client where they want to be able to have it pulled from tables. So basically I'm just putting all these little tables in this document and then when I write the code, I wanna know, oh, pull from the first table, pull from the second table, pull from the third. So I just need to make these numbers match my enumeration. So I've got part way through table four, five is closing, six is enclosures. Let me check my code. And you can see I had it wrong. Oops. So enclosures will be six. I just made some changes in my little table document. Um, Seven is going to be counties, eight districts. These are for all kinds of different things. So I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to watch all this. OK, I've gone through the whole document, and I've made sure that these all match up with the numbers of which the tables are in the table document. And so you have public enum, give it a name, do your little enumeration, then you write end enum. And that sets this up. Now you'll see a lot of my enumerations actually start with zero instead of one. That's because I'm pulling, with those, I'm pulling a data out of a database or a list box where the first column is zero. And then the second column is one, and you can figure the rest out. So I start my enumeration at zero. But in this case, the first table is number one in the document. So I want it numbered that way. So now how do I use this? Okay, here I've jumped ahead to some code where I want to take all of the data in one of those tables and load it into a list box that's going to show up in a form. So I have a procedure I've written that will do that, and I need to pass to it the number of the table in the document. So going back. Here we know that it's named DB tables. Now at some point I will just memorize that. I haven't yet because this is pretty new. So uh, going forward, here I am where I want to put the table number. You see my IntelliSense or whatever it's called tells me that. So I do DB tables, period, and then all of the options pop up. And what I happen to want here 
is the case label categories. So I know by reading these what's what, put that in. And finish the other things I want to pass. I just had to add this because I didn't have this code in here, but I needed to pass it that. So now what does this do for me? Well, it will know to pull from table number such and such in this document. And then in the future, if I go back to that document and I change, I add or remove some tables and these numbers change, all I have to do is go back into my code in that auto exec procedure or module, sorry. And in here where my enumeration is, I can just change these numbers. So I don't have to go digging through all the code in every place I referred to one of those tables and change all the numbers to what they should be now that it's changed. And as I'm programming, I don't have to keep referencing back and saying, now wait, which table is that? Oh, that one's number seven. I can just use this little enumeration and I'll see, oh, I wanted counties. If I can remember DB tables dot, then I'll see the list of choices, choose counties, and that would give me number seven.